Oh, it's clean, it's crisp, and it's fresh. It's tasty. It makes me want to eat a pretzel, perhaps. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my sofa. You're just in time for a beer with Bob. Today we put on our lederhosen and our dandels and we indulge in a little piece of Franconia from the heart of Middle England. That is indeed, we are tasting Braybrook's Keller Lager. 4.8%. This is a German lager in every sense of the word. There you go. If you look at it closely in the bottle, you can see it's slightly cloudy there. Just a hint. Okay, it's neither filtered or pasteurised, so typical of a Franconian beer. Uh, the guys at Braybrook have German associations. They're connected, uh, not with Angela Merkel, but there's some guys at the Miles Brewery, which is in Bamberg in Germany. Uh, tells you a little bit out in the back. It says Keller beer, meaning cellar beer in the style of a lager. So it's you know, one of those you'd swing in the beer cellars or beer kellers of Germany. It goes on to tell you that they use reverse osmosis. Where we go. And it's got a soft mouthfeel. So uh, this all sounds would be hope be enjoyable. So do I. So let's open up the bottle, crack the cap off, hiss, and now we're going to pour it into our glass. Remember when pouring a beer, a beer with no head is dead. So we want to get a reasonable head on this. Is how they would drink it in Germany with a good head on the beer. There we go. And we're starting to get a nice head there. there we go. Just try and finish the bottle there, get it all in there, but don't waste any. So it's a... Uh, it's a golden amber colour with a nice foamy head. Look at that, that's a nice looking beer. So it's got Pilsner and Munich malts, uh, all the way imported from the uh, Bamberg, uh, probably from the guys at Miles Brewery. So it's got German malts inside of it. Let's give it a smell. It's very clean on the nose, very clean. It's malty, not, not massively malty. It's not like a malt loaf or a dark beer. It's, it's very light on the nose. Little hoppiness, maybe some orange, but, but there's, awful, there's not an awful lot going on here for me. It's been lagered, which is being uh, bottom fermented, stored at uh, cold temperatures in the brewing process for five weeks. And this has allowed the yeast to drop. Now you can see there is a few bits of sediment in there. That's because it's unfiltered. That's acceptable. They'll all settle at the bottom of the glass. There is some light carbonation. It's not a fizzy lager, but there is good bubbling. There we go. Let's give it a taste, shall we? Ooh, it's clean, it's crisp, and it's fresh. It's tasty. It makes me want to eat a pretzel, perhaps. It's a little bit brioche-like, perhaps. Caramelly, little hint of caramel nuttiness. It's a drinkable lager, for sure. You know, I can just imagine drinking this with the Oompa band playing in the distance playing all the famous German beer keller songs, or maybe even the Hoff dancing on stage, singing his classics. Uh, you know, I wish there was something like Knight Rider on TV at the moment with all of these lockdown procedures we're going through. Let's get it back and give it another taste. Oh, this is, this is tasty. Lagering is a lengthy process. You know, I have a saying, you know, brew slow, drink quick. And that's what you should do with a, with a lager. It's really tasty. It's very refreshing. It's so drinkable, very easy drinking. You know, this 
drinkability in this lager makes me want to get up at 4 a.m., put my towel down on the sun lounger to reserve it for the day, and then barbecue, grill meats, versed, and all of the German meats that we can get on the grill. You know, barbecues, hot weather, and swigging this lager, what more can you want? It is a nice lager. For those that drink lagers, I'd recommend this. Uh, even if you drink pale ales and you you know you want to drink this, this is a good summery style drink for me. Yeah, I'd, I'd buy this again. This is Braybrook, uh, Northampton, Leicester Way, Keller Lager. I think it's relatively easy to pick up. You know, it, it is. It's vegan friendly, so perhaps you wouldn't have it at a barbecue, but who cares? No, I quite like this. So, Braybrook Breweries, Keller Lager, <coughs> four bob beer. Until next time, stay safe. Thank you to the NHS. Stay inside and keep drinking. <laughs>